Floss Tube. Welcome back. Uh, my name's Karen and I'm the Susnet Stitcher. Um, gosh, it's February already. Wow. It's, what is it? It's Friday the 5th of February. Um, and I know I'm really late having a video put up. Um, we've been having such problems with um, the internet for the last, well, for the last six months, but more so in the last month or so. Um, so I haven't been, well, there was no point putting a video up if I can't upload it. And also, um, I get stitching and I think, oh, I'll do a video tomorrow. And then you start stitching and by the time you've finished, it's dinner time. And I just, yeah. <laughs> Life happens, I suppose, even though I, I'm stuck at home doing nothing all day. Um, anyway, right. I um, hope everyone's uh, doing well. Um, life, we, we had a good Christmas, quiet Christmas. Um, so that was all good. Um, Brock, he's doing really well. He's growing fast. Um, what is he now? Eight months old? Um, about a month ago, um, he went to the vets to have an operation. When he was born, he had a hernia um, where his tummy button would normally be. And it, it was probably an inch and a half long. Um, we did take him to the vets before Christmas. Um, and they said, yeah, we think we ought to operate, which is what we wanted anyway. Um, so they said, wait till after Christmas, into the new year, and then book him in. So we booked him in, bless him. Oh, he's off. I, I don't like it when you take them to the vets, and especially at the moment where you can't actually go into the vets. You hand your dog over at the door, and that's that. Um, but he he was really good. He's got through that all right. Um, he he wasn't very good with the cone of shame. Bless him. It took him ages to realise that he had to lift his head up to be able to walk. Um, he really didn't like that at all. Um, that first night. Um, uh, Big softy, I suppose. We let him sleep by the side of the bed um, so we could keep keep our eye on him, really. he um, I didn't get so much sleep that night because I was that worried about him. But he was fine. He's absolutely fine now. Um, all done and dusted. Um, he's still a bit raised. It's not red, but it's. I suppose it's still still healing and um you know he, he catches it a bit but so yeah so brock's fine he's he's all right so um i have got a bit of poorly fern she's my dog she's my springer spaniel um it's her birthday next wednesday she turns 13 um, she's off of food at the minute and she started to be incontinent. Um, bless her. So we'll, yeah, we'll have to just see how she goes. But she's, yeah. Anyway, let's leave that at that. Right. Um, I've done quite a bit of stitching since I last saw you. Um, I've had a new start and I've, I've had a finish. <laughs> um, so let, let me show you what I've, what I've been doing. Uh, I've got a bit of a haul as well. In fact, the postman's just handed me a parcel. So we'll open that, um, in a minute. So, right, I'll start with this one. Um, I've actually stitched on all of my whips which um is surprising 
So just recently I put a bit few stitches into this one, which is Autumn Quaker by Rosewood Manor. Is that better? Get the glare. Um, I've had this whip quite a while. I can't when I first started this one, I really enjoyed it. But I think since Stitching on 40 count and 46 count, um, I enjoy doing that a bit more. This this is done on 28 count de bloom. I can't remember who makes it. Is it Weeks Dye Works? De bloom. I think so. And um, I must get one of those boards that everybody seems to have. Right, there we go. And what did I do the other day? I did this one. This was quite fun to do. Let me see. This, this one, um, it looks a bit like a thistle to me. And you had to sort of go over each side and do a bit of a lattice work. So that was quite fun. Um... But as I say, from stitching on 46 counts, which I've, I've been doing, 28 count looks massive. It really does. Um, so I've done, I've done that bit. Uh, I did those two leaves. And I've recently done these two as well. But I seem to have loads left to do. I just don't seem to get myself going. All right, I'm just watching the dogs. Um, but I keep doing a little bit at it. It's it's just one of those things that I just prefer to do the smaller stitches. Um, it hasn't quite gripped me yet. But I must... You know, you see everybody else's, and that, theirs looks really nice. And whether it's because I've done it on the twenty-eight count, but that's that's what they've that's what they're called for. Fabric is, I think, isn't it? Uh, a picture this plus. Sorry, I do. Yeah, I apologise. It wasn't what it's done. It's picture this plus twenty-eight count the bloom. Um, and it's done with the uh, Valdani threads. So, we're slowly getting there, we will. It's something that I go to when I want a bit of a change, really. So, uh, there we go. I don't know what Brock's been doing. Oh, he's got a squeaky. I can just hear it. <laughs> right, so let's pop that one away. Um, what other one have I been doing? Let's pop that over there. I did a bit of this one. Now, I haven't done any of this one for ages. Uh, I wonder if you can see this without the glare, without me taking it out. Oh, I'll, I'll, take, I'll take it out and then there's no glare. Right, this is a long dog sampler. Uh, can you see it? There we go. And it is called Forevermore. And this is done with uh, the, the 36 count dwarf. And now it's called, it's color is dwarf. And I think it must be a picture this plus. Um, let's pop something behind that. So I did a bit of this the other day for a change. Um, let's see if you can see. Um, I did the, I started the swan's neck. Um, and I don't know what these two things are meant to be, 
to be quite honest. But never mind. Um, and that looks like a seahorse, to be quite honest, now that I look at it. I wasn't quite sure what it was when I was stitching it. And the crown. Um, so, yeah, I quite enjoyed this. But I really wanted to do it um, in white and blue. And I think if you remember... Oh, just a minute. Sorry about that. Um, the dogs are laid on the bed. And because Fern's been a bit incontinent, I've put puppy pads on top of her bed and then a towel. And, of course, Brock is there chewing them to pieces, which he did overnight. Um... So anyway, he's now, he's got his ball now, so that's all right. Um, yes, what was I saying? So uh, this is done on um, 36 count, um, I think it's a picture of this plus dwarf. And it's with um, DMC. And I, I, I really do like it, but I really wanted to do it in white. Um, and I did do a little bit of white. If if you remember this, is anyone can remember doing this? That I did that, and I wasn't too happy with it. But having said that, now that doesn't actually look too bad there. So anyway, what I've decided I'm going to do is uh, because I've started it with the with the blue, I'm going to. I'm going to finish it in blue and then when all this pandemic is over and I can get some more of the blue I'm going to try and get it in a higher count um, and I'm going to do it with white um, I mean at the minute you just can't get the fabric but I'm sure things will come right and uh, we'll be up and running again so that, that, I mean, that will look really pretty in white. Um, I don't think it looks too bad with the blue. But we'll see. I'll do a bit more on it and see how it, how it goes. Um, it just means that I think I'm going to do it twice. But I think I'll do it on 40 count, if I can get some 40 count. Um, to bloom. To bloom. Sorry, it's one of those days. It's we're not sleeping, um, worrying about fern. Um, anyway, right. So that is long dog sampler for evermore. Where did I get that from? I got so much stuff. <laughs> If you could just see what my table looks like, it's a mess of things. Um, but never mind. Right, let's pop that one away. Um, that goes in there. That's in my paw print bag which is lovely I think I like this this is so nice so it's that colour on that side and then inside it's the same but um white really like these bags from paw print Patch, patchwork paw print on Etsy they really are nice um, let's do that one so, um, right, this one here, this, well, this is part of a haul, actually. Um, I got, th this one is quite, I wish I'd ordered the next size up because I can't get my hoop in there very well. So, um, I ordered a new one in a bit bigger size, um, I think it's 13 by 15 um, and so I, I bought myself a new one really pretty I like this button 
these buttons are nice. Is he chewing that again? Oh, monkey. So this one is Hands Across the Sea Samplers. It's Isabel Uffendale, 1829. This is the sister to Anton Uffendale, which I finished before Christmas. So this this is the sister. So and this is on forty count light mocha Zweigart base. And I really haven't got a ball. What have I got? Uh, we'll, we'll manage, we'll manage. So I've done quite a lot on this. So I've got, I've just got to finish doing this, this tree. Hang on. Just got to finish doing this tree. There's a couple of birds that sit on the, on the branch. I think there's one goes here and then there's one there and then I've just got to, finish putting the leaves in on that one and so it it will look like that on that side so it's mirror image i thought these was pretty when i first because i always photocopy the pages so i don't ruin the booklets and um i guess my photocopier didn't quite pick up on um some of some of it so i had i had stitched this tree and i'd stitched these blue bits but i didn't see that you had to do satin stitch and it wasn't until i i was looking at i was looking at this and i thought well that looks like there's white in there so I had a look at the proper page and it shows that you got to do satin stitch in between <laughs> I nearly missed that um, but I, I love stitching on this um, they're lovely pastel colors they really are and the um, honeysuckle this is like honeysuckle isn't it um, border so it's really pretty. So I've done the first sort of stage. And then I think there's, so I've done up to here, apart from these two beds. Um, I've done the R and then, so you've like got three, stages to do so she's she's going to take a while um i think it's going to take me longer to do this one than it did to do Anne because she's she's a bigger girl um but i i really do enjoy doing this it's really nice um so i've done it in dmc as well um, if I didn't say so that's that's really pretty really enjoy doing that one um, so let's pop that away before I get mixed all oh, because it doesn't take a lot to mix me up so There we go. Right. Then I had a new start. <laughs> but I had a finish as well. Uh, where is it? I. Oh. Just a moment. Right. I'm back again. <laughs> right. Um, I started. Uh, Hands Across the Sea samplers. Oh. Oh. Um, a little gem 
uh, Sarah Spencer, 1870. So I started that. Um, and I finished it at the same time. So let's see where I can. Now, this was done, this was stitched on a piece of 46 count, which I've never done before. And I struggled a little bit with the seeing, but it was good. I enjoyed this. Um, so it was stitched on 46 count. Now, I think it it was an ex due design piece of fabric. And can I remember, was it baby sheep? It was something along those lines. Um, and I used, I treated myself. I, I pushed the boat out and I bought some um, a Vera Soir Dalger silks oh they were lovely uh, honestly i can see why everybody raves about stitching with silk um it it was a joy to stitch with it uh, and you know the difference i saw was um i never let's see it like that it never cottered up on the back. You, you know when um, you put your thread through and then you pull it through back. For some reason with DMC, I am forever getting knots. Um, you know where you get, you've got your piece of thread and then it comes back and there's a loop and you've got to put your needle in and pull it and hopefully, eight times out of ten, it it comes free but with these silks I it didn't happen once and as I say it was a joy to stitch on this it's so pretty I really love this I was actually sad when I'd finished it but I I started it and I, I just didn't stop I just kept going and that's all I stitched for oh uh, well till I finished it <laughs> to be honest um I think it took me three weeks about three weeks to do um it was like a Christmas piece I started so oh is that better I was really pleased with this so that's another finish I've got. I've got, uh, what have I got? I've got Anothendale, that one. I've got Deer Creek finish, of which I still, still haven't washed it. And it's quite a nice day today, so I really ought to, I'm worried about doing it, to be quite honest. Um, oh, and I've also got Blackbird Design, Merrily, Merrily, We Welcome Spring. Um, but at the moment, we're, we're in lockdown and there is a framer in the next town. But whether he does needlework, I don't know. And also, what I want to ask everybody, when you take your needlework to be framed, do, do you mount it on the board? Is it foam board? Or does your framer mount it? Because I really don't know the process. Um, I've looked at some videos. Um, yeah, I can't remember her name. Oh, Jean Farris. I've seen some of her videos. And I know what I'm doing, sort of. But I don't know whether I'm meant to do that before I take it to be framed um, of which case because of lockdown I'll, I'll have to try and order it um, so 
just let us know what you everybody else does what what do you do uh when you frame frame it do you just send it as it is um or do, do you have to have a specialised framer that only does needlework? I don't know. We don't have the framers that you do in America, unfortunately. Um, so anyway, um, and I'm quite proud of the back. The back's not bad for me. As I, as I say, um, when, when I stitch with DMC, just seems to culture up on the back and um i don't quite know how to stop it and i don't really want to put um thread magic or thread heaven in fact i've lost mine i think um one of the dogs did something with it or oh, it's gone down the back of the settee one of the two. Um, I haven't seen it for months. So um, I don't know quite what to do. Whether to send off for some foam board. And some steel pins I think it is. And do it myself. Or, well I'm going to have to wait and ring... Uh, ring john up and see if he'll do them he has done some framing for me but that was just pictures um so so anyway so that was that sarah sarah spencer started and finished um that's the problem when you get one you really enjoy you um i i become a bit monogamous is that the right word and just stitch on it so oh i can't get that in there at the minute so right um i'll put that back in there so haul well shall i start i've got another new start um i'll show you that one uh, I have started All Joys for Thine by Blackword Blackword I tell you it's one of those days today it's what no sleep does for you Blackbird Designs All Joys for Thine now I sent off for some fabric for this Um oh gosh I can't remember where I get from Peakside something um, I get a lot of stuff from her and I sent off for uh, two pieces of fabric one was um, I can't I can't find the piece of material that it was in anyway I know it's called Up in the Attic oh Fox and Dale maybe I'm making that up I don't know anyway I, I ordered this one thinking it would be right I know it's a bit <laughs> you can't really see it looks lighter on the on the video than it actually is and it's called up in the attic and I thought that that was going to be nice. But then you can't really. Uh, it's hard to. That, that's a bit better. And I started that uh, the other day. that looks so much lighter than it is and i just was not happy with that and you can't really it's funny how videos don't really show you the right color anyway i want i wasn't happy with the color it's it's too dark um i was wondering if i washed it would it become lighter 
Has anyone ever done that? Um, because it's not quite what I thought it was going to be. Um, I don't mind it being too dark, but it, this is just a bit too... Um, um, yeah. It looks like that a bit. Sorry, <laughs> but it does. Um, so if I washed it, will some of the dye come out, do you think? Maybe I'll try that. Anyway, at the same time I ordered that, I ordered some Weeks Dye Works Confederate Grey. And so I swapped, I stopped stitching it on there and I started stitching it, oh, I've lost a needle somewhere. Um, and I started stitching it on here. And I like it so much better. I really like this. This is so pretty. And this is on 40 count. But I don't know if you can see. Some of the threads are so, so thin. Um, it's, it's very thin. I mean, the... The Sarah Spencer is 40 count. And you can see the threads are, are not quite as thin. It seems to be a little bit thicker than this. This seems really thin. Um, so you have got to watch, watch out uh, that you don't go wrong. But I really like this. This is so lovely. Very dainty and very pretty. It's lovely. I do enjoy doing this. So that's um, Blackbird Designs, All Joys for Thine. And I've, I, what I've done is it called for... Um, it called for some... Uh, you can't see that. Um, uh, classic colour works and weeks dye works well could I find some of the colours so they did give a um, DMC alternatives so right or wrong what I've done is the colours that I could get in classic colour works um I bought it's only two or three of them and the rest I did in DMC so um, it's a bit of a mixture really um, but I thought I'd, it seems to be coming out all right um, the the stem is classic color works polywog and then um, the others are DMC, so seems all right to me. So hopefully it will be all right. Um, don't let me lose that needle. There we go, right. So that's, I don't think it's gonna be very big because it does ask for, is it 36? 36 Heartland, picture this plus. But you can't get that love no money, to be honest, at the minute. So um, I've done it in 40 count. And so it will be a bit smaller than it says. Um, so these are the, the colours. So... Some are classic colour works, uh, like Fool's Gold, Stormy Night, uh, Pollywog, <laughs> brilliant name that one. I think those were the only three that I could get, uh, Stormy Night, and the rest are DMC. So, we shall see. I'll just put that in there for safe uh, 
there. There we go. We'll put that and that in there. So some of my haul I've already used, you see. Because uh, the Soir d'Alger was haul, but I've already used it. Um, and that's that. So in my haul as well, I bought... Uh, I've always wanted to do this one, the Scarlet House. Um, mm, you can't really see that very well. It's, um, I'll just get it out for you. Scarlet House, Jane Cowery. Cowie? 1850. Um, Ever since I saw this, I've always wanted to stitch it. That's a bit, maybe you can see a bit better there. I really like that. I like the butterflies down here. I think that's what attracted me to it. So I haven't um, got any, uh, I've got some fabric for it, uh, which is, here I've got some uh, Fort Count Newcastle birch um, so I've, I've got that one um, I think that'll fit uh, finish size 10 by 12 oh, more than enough on there but I haven't got any threads now it calls for um, needlepoint ink silk um, or it says DMC but it's saying that a conversion to DMC is provided as an alternative but may not provide exact matches. Um, so I mean I've priced up to get the needlepoint ink cells is going to cost me £60. And that's all right, but £60, £60. Um, so I don't quite know what to do, to be quite honest. I mean, I loved st stitching this Sarah Spencer in silk. Um, so, I don't know. We'll have to have a think about that one. See what I can do. Um, so, right, let's open this box and see what's inside. Um, that was just look that the postman came. A bit dangerous whipping that one. Now this is from Hoop and Frames. Now I did want the, I've been wanting to order from them for ages. And I'd had, you can get thread drops in there. And it's the only place I've managed to find thread drops. And I had it in my basket. And you know what it's like, you choose what you want, put it in your basket. And then something else happens and you leave it. So... I'd been doing that, and then when I was ready to order, uh, they were out of stock. They'd all been sold out. So that was a bit of a um, disappointment. And I'd also ordered some um, uh, size 12 beading needles, but they'd got a ballpoint at the end. And um, I got an email from them saying that, they were out of stock so that's a shame but never mind so anyway what i've ordered is oh this is quite pretty it's all in all in tissue paper with hoop and frame Oop. and i have ordered a new oh this looks nice I've ordered a new hoop because one of my hoops, this bit, goes really hard and um, 
I did actually put a bit fairy liquid in it and it, it did free a bit. But this is a, um, it's, uh, it's from Access Commodities and it's a um, Hardwick Manor hoop, which I've always wanted one. So I've, um, I've splashed out on one. Um, so, I think that was £22, whereas the ones I've been buying off Etsy have been like £6 and £8. So, I think you probably get what you pay for, to be quite honest. And then I, oh look, they've put a bit of sample of twill in to put round there. See, I've, ne I've never actually covered my... Um, uh, hoop in a tape so I don't know whether it uh, it does make a, a difference or not and then I ordered uh, some legacy linen 45 count jersey cream which looks really nice that looks really nice So, I mean, that actually might be a better one for that. Might be a better match for that, to be quite honest. I don't know, what do you think? Either that one or that one. I think that one's big enough. I've got fat quarter. This doesn't mean anything to me. Oh, that says a fat quarter. So that size is the same size as that size. <laughs> okay. Um, so, what does everybody think? The birch or the jersey cream? They're probably both not the same, to be quite honest. Um, but I just, I just wanted to catch, try. I've never seen legacy linen. Um, for sale on a UK site before so um, I've heard so much about legacy linens that I wanted to try it so that that looks really nice um, so I might just treat myself to some more colors because they got quite a lot that the hoop and frame um, was it the oh it's Oh, the YouTuber. Oh, I can't remember what you call her. In the barn. Oh, I watched her the other day and she was talking about hoop and frame. And I'd never heard of hoop and frame before. Um, stitching in the barn. Is that right? Um, so I had a look um, and some lovely stuff lovely linen on there so i might have to get some more so right so that is my haul that is everything um, so i'm all set to do some more so i've just got to think of what threads i'm going to get for um jane cowrie um i might just push the boat out and get some silks for it um, as long as I hide, hide the credit card bill <laughs> no, you, Sean wouldn't mind what I got so right then so I'm going to go and put all this lot away because I have made rather a mess um, so Please let me know your thoughts on the framing and also which fabric you think would be better for Jane Carey. Um, any questions you've got, please, please ask. Um, I love all your comments. Um, if you've liked the video, please like and I'd love it if you subscribed um, and 
press the bell so that you know when my next video comes up. Um, I do try not to, I know I've been a while this time, but um, and do, I will try not to be quite so long this time. Um, but um, I love watching all the other YouTubers. So anyway, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Um, so if if you want to subscribe, do. That would be lovely. And I'll see you all next time. So stay safe. Um, keep well. And I will see you next time. All right. Goodbye. Bye.